This video is brought to you by Audible. What's up guys, so Samsung kicked off the foldable era with its Galaxy Fold, the first of its kind phone plus tablet hybrid. We talked about it in detail, the six cameras, the software experience, a very polished build quality. It really looked a perfect next generation product. Then came the Huawei Mate X, the first foldable phone from Huawei that is a 5G monster. And most importantly, it has an outward folding, which results in a 6.6 .6 inch and a 6 6.3 inch display on each side. The Mate X definitely looks cooler compared to the Galaxy Fold, but it has a plastic substrate and it suffers from that crease where the fold occurs. But this approach is clearly better if done right. So Samsung is looking to bring the next generation of the Galaxy Fold, codenamed Liuge. We saw this in the yesterday leak via Galaxy S10 kernel source, which also confirmed the existence of the 5G variant of the Galaxy Note 10. So out comes the new patent files via let's go digital that shows the possible design of the galaxy fold 2 or galaxy fold second generation this patent is from january 24 2019 which is before the launch of the galaxy fold meaning samsung had the outward folding in their plans but they didn't do it for obvious reasons they want to do it when this tech is absolutely perfect just like they waited so long for the fingerprint scanner on the galaxy s10 family so the device in the patent looks about the same size as the galaxy Galaxy Fold when it is in the tablet mode, but the difference is with the outward folding compared to the inward folding of the Galaxy Fold. So you get two displays on each side, pretty much like the Mate X, but this is more durable. It has a proper hinge area and a locking mechanism to keep the fold intact to get rid of that crease look as well. So if you fold it halfway or if you fold it fully, you have the ability to lock the phone in that position so that it stays there. It's not gonna cause that plastic crease issue to the display. So pretty much it's having a more durable outward folding compared to the first generation's inward folding. Going through this patent file, I think Samsung will definitely nail it. Again, durability is the main issue here because we have displays on each side. There will be a special case to protect this device as well. So in order to bring this as a mainstream product, Samsung has to figure out its durability. And from the looks of this patent, it seems pretty promising. Now, other than the foldable phone, Samsung is looking to bring even newer product a foldable long phone that folds into a watch which you can actually wear on your wrist this is something we have seen in the future concept videos that we have a device which is actually a phone that bends into a watch which you can wear it's so crazy to see that samsung is actually working on this stuff we have these high quality renders while let's go digital so you can see it's a large or i should say tall bendable phone that bends into a watch for your wrist it has a flexible body that bends all the way and additionally they've also placed a magnet at both ends of this phone which create this force of attraction to hold this when it's completely rolled up so in this way this device will stay nicely on your wrist depending on the size of your wrist you will be able to fold it even further obviously it is a patent at this point when you unfold it you get this really tall display phone looks really really slim and there's also dual cameras on the back all in all it looks pretty exciting something like this was shown back in 2016 by lenovo but samsung version is a lot more detailed and obviously it's samsung showing this stuff so they have done the galaxy fold i don't think it's going to be a challenge to bring a proper smartphone that can bend into a watch for your wrist also there is a rumor going on that samsung is expected to release a budget flagship spec phone that is going to be cheaper than the galaxy s10e yes a cheaper phone with a flagship processor even cheaper than the S10e's 750 dollars price. This is a rumor coming from Android headlines, so the device in question could be Galaxy A90 that is coming with a rotating sliding front camera system. It is expected to have an LCD display instead of OLED to cut the cost with same chip as the Galaxy S10 model only cheaper this actually happens that samsung really is bringing the ultimate game against xiaomi and oneplus who are actually the best in this price range so samsung galaxy fold 2 is coming and it might actually come alongside with the galaxy note 10 they're also working on a flexible phone that can turn into a watch which we could see next year. Future is awesome guys, as we are moving towards the new age of tech, reading is becoming an old way now, which is why we have audiobooks, and the best place for them is from Audible. 
Audible is a great service for providing an unmatched collection of audiobooks, original audio shows, news, comedy, and more. They have a free app for iOS, Android, and even Windows Phone if you have one. We also have Audible Originals, which are exclusive audio titles created by celebrated storytellers from theater, journalism, literature, and more. So head over to audible.com slash ZTechCare or SMS ZTechCare to 500 to start your free 30 days trial and get an audiobook for free. In this day and age, it's easier to get addictive to social media and procrastinate. So I'm currently listening to some self-development books that will help me to be more productive. Again, check out audible.com slash ZTechCare or SMS ZTechCare to 500 for a free 30 day trial and a free audiobook. With that being said, I will see you guys in my next video. Peace out.